Now so far to date, you've only created forms using the wizard or the quick form tool. Now it's time to look at creating a form totally by yourself. In order to do that, we need to go to the create ribbon and then choose form design. This will create a new blank form in design view. There are a number of steps to take place now. First one is to attach your form to some data. Without it being attached to some data, it cannot be used to display data. So we bring up the properties, which we can do by right clicking at this point here and choosing properties. Then the data tab in the property sheet and then choose from the drop list, the record set. So the table that you wish to attach to your form. Let's go with TBL customers. What we then do is change this property sheet on the right to add existing fields by clicking here on the design tools sub ribbon. That then displays you all the fields from the selected table. What I now need to do is set these out nice and neatly on my form. Now the form is this dotted area and I can narrow that or I can increase the size width wise. The depth I can increase here so I can make this form the size that I want it to be to fit the screen. Then I need to add some data. So we choose the fields that we would like. So I'm going to have title, control click first name, control click last name, phone, email address, city, postcode and birth date. So all of those fields are selected. I can then let go of the control key because it's done its job. And then I just drag these fields across to the form, making sure that where I let go, here I'll choose, leaves enough space for the labels to appear on the left. So I will show you when I let go, fields appear here, the labels appear over here. If I were to drop these fields very close to the left hand margin, there would be no space for the labels. And the labels would actually be squashed in what little space there is and end up being sort of half hidden behind the field. And because I've selected all these fields in one go, drag them on and let go, they're all nice and equally laid out. They're the same width, they're the same distributed height. Whilst they're selected, I could widen these controls to give a little bit more room to actually display the data. So here you see the right hand control is actually the name of the field. The left hand control is the label or caption associated with that field. If there is no caption in the table, then the caption here is actually the same as the field name. Now we know that these are just labels and you can click in and change them. Put in some sensible spaces in the names. You cannot do this with the right hand side because these are actual attachments to field names. And if you change that, it won't be attached to the right field name. So let's view our data. And we see all of our records, 18,508 in fact, and I can scroll through them and see the value of the fields that I've added to my form. I can also see that the email address does not quite work. If I go back into design view, I could widen just the email address or I could widen all of them. So let's select them all and just widen them all to the next little grid line. That's much better when you look through the data. Having created my form and got things underway, I really ought to save this form as an object. Save. Otherwise, if the system crashed, I would lose it. So it's FRM form new customers. OK. Now, what you will notice about this form is it only has detail. If we look at one of the wizard built forms, it has a gray bar header. And in design, you can see it has a form header and a form footer. Now my new form doesn't, but I can soon activate them. If I right click here, just next to the detail bar, I can choose either page header and footer or form header and footer. Since the page header and footer is really aimed at reports and printing, for a form, I need the form header and footer. That then gives me another two sections, the form header, which is a little band between there and the detail, and the form footer. When I view that, 
that then gives me this area here and this area here. So above the record selector and below the record selector. They are resizable, bigger or smaller, and you can change the color of them. So if I select the form footer, right click and properties, I can change its back color. Let's go for a nice green and do the same for the form header. Notice it retains recent color, so I can pick the same green, not have to remember. And then I've got a form header and footer in green. The amount of space used up is determined by the height that I drag the detail bar up towards the form header or the bottom of the form up towards the form footer. I could then add a label into the form header using AA for labels and simply put in a title of customers database. One click away, one click back on to do the formatting. Center align, red, bold, and potentially much bigger. Home, view, and there's my form with a save to top up the changes that I've made to the design of the form. So that's creating a form from scratch, no wizard involved, by yourself, starting effectively with a blank piece of paper, attaching the data source, then adding the fields you would like to see and use on your form.